Hey everyone, Fox here with uh, Marvel Avenger video, talking about how much gold you can, you know, obtain in this game. As you know, people buy limited edition items, which I find pointless to buy. Uh, of course, there are augmented ISOAs that you should buy to help your heroes, and there's empowered ISOAs to um, improve your heroes. Even though it's more catered PvP, it's still kind of viable in PvE. Now, I did see that a few comics of comments on my video apparently people are saying oh I cannot farm this as like oh it costs money like seriously you can actually obtain gold for free in this game yes play them oh my god you can actually get gold yes you can and the amount of gold is actually pretty high that I expected when I added it up so let's go chapter one season one actually each chapter here as you know, there's six missions per chapter, and there's 12 chapters in season one. Now, if you're able to four-star each mission, you're entitled to one gold. Now, if you complete, if you four-star each mission in a chapter, that's six gold. Of course, you're gonna have to need to recruit the hero to uh, complete to get the premium mission. And of course, if you five five-star, you get five command points. So that's 30 command points per chapter for free. Most likely 25, because if it, most people don't have premium heroes. So that's 12 chapters, 6 gold each, and that's a, a total of 72 gold for Season 1. So 70, se Season 1 can give you 72, 72 gold for free. By the time you hit, um, damn, I, f I five starred most of my missions, but I think it's going to reach 120 something, or 140 by the time. And this is of course the best chapter f to get command points. Do not doubt it. You just gotta be persistent. And we must be like the only thing you do. Seriously, the only thing you do. Literally, the only thing you have to do. I was able to do it. You can do it too. But you gotta be very persistent. I, it's, I mean, I did it for like, not a year, but a couple months. Almost a year, I'd say. Yeah. But like a few months. Like, since... Yeah, it, it is about a year now. I think I've been farming this chapter. Because I used to farm, I forgot which chapter it was, the one with Magneto, is it this one I think? Yeah, but yeah, back to gold, 72 gold for chapter 1, um, season 1, all 12 chapters can get you 72 gold. Season 2 on the hand, actually improved the bonuses which you can get, but you need a crap ton of heroes, which will take an extraordinary amount of time. And so we click on chapter info, we can get 5, 5, 10, and 5. So that's 5, 10, 15, 25 gold. And right now we have 5 chapters available to us. Chapter 6 is on its way. I do look forward to playing Deadpool um, chapter and fighting a lizard, but that's, tw that's 5 chapters, 25 gold. That's 125 gold now. And of course, as you know, as you level up, you're entitled to one gold per level up. So you start out with, I think, five gold at level one. And so you go up 299 levels. 299 levels. That's 299 gold. Plus the five gold you started. The 72 gold that you get from season one, if you four start every mission, including premium mission. And if you're able to, to somehow get all the heroes complete all the task line. I don't think you need all the yeah, yeah, complete you need to complete the chapter, completely all heroes, all task lines. That's 125 gold. And there's also a little bonus I'm gonna add in there, the simulator. It's not hard to do really. There are videos from like CJ Edwards and King Fisher to help you out. So not the shot training. Shot training actually gives you command points, but simulator basics gives you another ten gold, which you can d get for free. So that's 511 gold that you can obtain for free on your course, on your entire course, to get to 300. And by the time you reach 300, I think you'll be using that gold for probably three different things. One, uh, empowered ISO 8s. There's not much to get, so that's that. Um, augmented ISO 8s. There's still not much to get for that, but it's still something you would pay for um, if you're desperate to get heroes, I guess. And of course, I think the most, probably the one thing you want to do for some weapons, reforge 
your free weapons that you've obtained. Yes, 48. It costs stupidly 48 gold to reforge a weapon, but once you're 300, you're gonna want to reforge a weapon. I don't know if anybody's gonna play this game till I reach 300. I'm not even there yet. I probably will be there by next month, but. 511 gold, and that's not including 10 gold that you can get from the PvP season. That's 521. And then, off the... Where's... Click, click, click. Wait, where is it? No. My bad. On the daily spin, you have a chance to get another 10 gold, or 1 gold. So that's another chance of getting even more gold. If they added gold on a daily roulette, I would have been so damn happy. But again, a command point every day is kind of helpful. So yeah, you can get 511 gold free by the time you hit 300. It's a long, stupid process. But that's how much gold you can get, and I, I use it wisely, I guess. That's all I can say. Plus, always make sure you attend PvP tournaments and try to get gold. At least gold. Other leagues, as I mentioned in my rant video, are pointless now because clearly Playdom doesn't care. So, thanks for watching, guys, and good luck.